Brazilian Commission votes in favor of recommending criminal charges against Bolsonaro. This post received a score of 1,000, with an up-vote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Greater than the report alleges that Bolsonaro's government allowed the lethal coronavirus to spread through the country in a failed bid to achieve herd immunity. It recommends indicting the president personally with nine crimes, including incitement to crime, charlatanism, and crimes against humanity. This is taking on corruption head-on and clearly advocating for accountability. Bolsonaro deserves the charges. He is directly responsible for hundreds of thousands of lives lost. Other countries should take this example and replicate it. Do Boris next. The person whose job is to actually oversee the prosecution of public figures like a president is a loyalist named by Bolsonaro himself, and he can single-handedly block any criminal accusation against Bolsonaro so he will not do anything about these recommendations, just like he didn't do anything about countless other crimes Bolsonaro clearly committed in the last three years. In the end this will just follow the trend that has been going for several months by now where any kind of dirt is thrown against Bolsonaro just so he can feel the pressure and in turn pour billions into the pockets of politicians to buy protection from being prosecuted or removed from office. Right from the Trump playbook to handpick extreme loyalists in key positions to shield yourself from scrutiny. Bolsonaro will not go quietly. In favor of recommending the favored recommendations of the commission's most favored members. Great news. The final document, the result of six months of investigation, will now be sent to Brazil's Attorney General's office. However, Attorney General Augusto Eris is considered an ally of the president and is not expected to pursue charges. Well except for this part. So Brazil has its own William Barr. Let's not forget Boris Johnson as well. Someone here told me he makes his hair look goofy so he looks less dangerous that's crazy and scary if true. He's very intelligent and aware of his image. He intentionally messes up his hair and uses a simpler vocabulary in public to disarm people. It's a charm tactic. He attended both Eton and Oxford, and while there were some complaints about his behavior, he did well academically at both. Setting a good example. Not a bad idea. With Dr. Bricks saying Trump focusing on the election instead of COVID, Trump sounds responsible for a lot of Americans dying. Without even considering he lied about the severity of the disease, and told his followers not to wear masks and encouraged his dimwitted cult to protest simple measures like social distancing. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.